will start with arterial blood pressure monitoring. Uh, now let us talk about the pulmonary artery pressure monitoring. Uh, since over the last two decades the use of Swanganz catheter has gone down tremendously. Now it is practical the use of it is restricted only in the perioperative setting in the cardiovascular uh, theatres. However, it is if you look at the monitoring technology as such, it is not a bad technology, it still gives you a good information. So, someone if someone wants to use it, you can still use it. Okay. So, I um, will just show you how the Swanganz catheter looks like, what are the parts of it and how you do the monitoring and what each port tells you and what it is related to. Okay. So, your Swanganz catheter, the adult catheters are 110 centimeters in length, the pediatrics are around 60 centimeters in length. It has got three lumens, which has got mainly one is for the blue lumen, which opens up in the right atrium, which we call a CVP monitoring, but then second is the PA proximal which just opens 1 centimeter distally. So, that once from the tip the CVP the one proximal opens at 30 and the, the blue openings at the 31 centimeters. You have got a third lumen which opens at the tip from where you generally you are going to collect the sample for mixed venous oxygen or you are going to transduce for the measurement of the pressures. Um, it is marked at every 10 centimeters. So, when you are inserting you know at what depth you are. It is a balloon inflation volume is 1.25 to 1.5 cc's and as I have mentioned when I was start telling you about the Swanganz catheter, always see to it that your catheter gets wedged in position only after you have inflated it to the full volume. If it gets wedged with less volume, you know that you are distally and you need to uh, remove or just retract the catheter a little bit. Uh, some catheters do have provision for pacing as of now in India they are not available widely they are available abroad and then some catheters have got the continuous cardiac output monitoring that I showed you. Now I will show you the Swanganz catheter and the setup of Swanganz catheter. Many of you may not have used it because in current last decade the use of Swanganz catheter has significantly fallen. One is because certain studies have shown that it is really not associated with better outcomes but it has got associated lots of complications and now we have got better and better monitoring systems which are not invasive as this. However, those of you who are working in the cardiac lab or cardiac anesthesia probably have used it. I will just show you what is the parts of the Swanganz catheter and how it comes. The Swanganz catheter generally is comes as adult and pediatric as well. The length varies from 60 in pediatric to 110 centimeters in adult. So, this is the adult Swanganz catheter. It has got a tip and a balloon at the tip. It has got markings at every 10 centimeters. So, 10, 20, 30, 40 to guide you to know the depth that you, it, it has.